Be me, Primaris Sergeant Jaren Artorius, Broken Shields Chapter. Been a week since the war ended, so to speak. Of course, there are still many small pockets of resistance across the planet, but those are easy to take care of. Sadly, I haven't gotten a yes or no from Sister Olga. She ended up fainting shortly after I asked her out. Most likely it was from combat exhaustion. I can't imagine what she went through. My quick reflexes allow me to catch her in my arms, long before she would have ever hit the dirt. I've got you, Dot Hollow. End up handing her over to one of her fellow sisters, before escorting them to the nearest field station. Along the way, discover that the tankers are no longer with us. Guess they didn't make it, Dot PNG. Vow to make sure that they are avenged. By the next morning, my brothers in orbit are finally able to make contact with us. My father is, of course, pissed to no avail by the lack of contact as well as with my report. My father being the battle brother whom adopted me after I was orphaned all those years ago, as well as my company captain. Sorry, Dad.jpg. After eventually receiving my new orders as well as a load of new equipment, my men and I ditch our Inceptor gear and don aggressor suits as a nearby half block needs reinforcements. Unlimited firepower dot termi. Spend the next few days traveling across the main cities, gunning down hundreds of scattered Xenos and heretics. Using backpack mounted grenade launchers to rip apart anything we can't immediately see. Renning bolt shells dot roboot. Occasionally take some time between missions to visit Sister Olga whilst she recovers. Wonder if she'll finally give me an answer when I go to visit her in a bit. Be me, Sister Olga. Suggest that we just order the rest of these idiots milling around into the sewers so we can just be done with this whole thing. But no, maybe I know what I'm talking about. I am the one who saved like everyone from orcs and not one of these bitches has said a word. Like they're always trying to bring me down because they're so jealous of me. Instead, Canon S drags us back to this cathedral Charlotte ordered. With her in charge, no wonder it was so cheap and tacky. Can't buy class.mp3. And why did the Canon S drag us here? So she could have a piece of cake. Like, I eat anything and everyone starts acting like they're concerned for me. But these bitches consume nothing but garbage. Sorry I'm not bulimic, dot bitches. And of course she took the last slice. I think the real reason they want to drag this out is to make me miss my date. That cute marine asked me out right in front of them and you can feel the jealousy. That's the real reason they always leave me behind. Guys always just pay attention to me which these sluts can't handle. Too jelly dot gif. Sorry girls, real men want real women. Meanwhile, the only attention these twigs get are from the widows Therese creeps on and that twerpy little bishop that always stares at Constanza's tits. Ugh, I am starving though. A lot of this food looks like it's still good actually. And like, I actually need my nutrients since I do all the work. Be me, Primaris Sergeant Jaren Artorius. Be a little disappointed. Apparently just an hour before I got back to the field station, Sister Olga and the others had left on some sort of secret mission. Well, this sucks, dot imps. I hope it goes well for them and that Sister Olga returns. I'd hate for anything to happen to her. Well, whatever the case, I'll be at the field station until the next rotation starts. Hopefully the sisters will return before then. I'd love to spend some time with Olga before we're both sent out to the front again. Be Sister Therese. Well, it's all over for now at least. Still lots of Tyranids down there, but there are a few Necrons too. And they are fighting each other for now. I guess the Necrons don't like the bugs burrowing through their shit. Anyways, turns out that our official quarters were stepped on by a titan, so we're all stuck in whatever hab blocks they have built or dropped in. Gross. I'm wondering how everyone can remain so gung-ho about all this. I wonder how long this will last. I get the idea Crazy Eyes is a little fed up. It was nice to see Charlotte shut the fuck up for a few moments due to pissing herself. Anyways, now I can finally get some me time. There's another big set of massive funerals slash victory parades all through this place. I've organized a little group of war widows together. 
One of them had a noble husband or something, so she has a nice place here. After I'm relieved, I head over there for some fun. Things start to get pretty intense as we're all pressed really close together. As we play some board games and stuff, I'm pretty elite at this shit, but I let some of them win. I also brought over what cake was left and food, which a lot appreciated. Some of them still have families who are stuck here. And the best supplies are going to the military or Sister Olga. That fat bitch has probably caused countless orphans to starve to death. It's not sappy or anything. I honestly do feel bad for some of these girls. People forget most sisters are orphans too. And I'm one of the few who was old enough to sort of remember my family. But we shared food and I encouraged them to talk with each other. This one poor girl must be like 16. And some stupid PDF kid convinced her to marry him. And then promptly went off to get flayed by a Necron. And now she's all sorts of lost. I do manage to get everyone laughing at one point with Scala stories though. 